What's up guys? This is Pro Warriors, and we're back with the latest updates on GameHub, also known as the Game Fusion Emulator. Even if you're using a low-end Android device with less than 4 gigabytes of RAM or a non-Snapdragon processor, don't worry, Game Fusion is your all-in-one gaming platform. From running PC games using Wine to streaming modern titles via Xbox Game Pass and GeForce Now, it handles it all. And with the recent shutdown of WinLater due to a toxic community and internal tensions, Game Fusion is now one of the few solid choices left for Android gamers who want to emulate PC experiences. In this video, I'll walk you through everything installation, setup, configuration, how to add your favorite games, and the best ways to play using Game Fusion on any Android device. Game Fusion is the similar PC emulator as WinLater using tools like Wine and Box 86. Game Fusion is a versatile gaming platform that supports PC emulators, cloud gaming, and game streaming, even Android games. It allows users to play games using controllers or touch controls, providing flexibility for all gaming preferences. First, let's download the latest version of the Game Fusion emulator. The process is simple and straightforward. If you've already installed it before, just open the emulator, it will show the update option. This version includes major bug fixes and several new features. The download should only take a few seconds. Once downloaded, install the app as you normally would. If you're a new user, head over to the official GameHub website and download the APK file. Don't worry, it's completely free. Once the download is complete, install the APK on your device. After installation, open the app and you're ready to dive in. After launching Game Fusion, the setup process is quick and easy. The app will prompt you to log in. You can use your email, Google account, or Apple account to sign in. Next, you'll need to choose an emoji for your profile. Simply click on the circle, select your favorite emoji. Lastly, set a display name or nickname so that other GameHub users can find you easily, and hit the Continue button. To ensure the app works smoothly, you'll need to grant a few key permissions. First, allow display over other apps for GameHub to function properly. Then, enable audio permissions to enjoy an optimal gaming experience with sound. Finally, we're in the Game Hub interface. My first reaction? Wow! This application is truly a game changer. Game Hub isn't just a PC emulator that runs PC games on your mobile. It goes far beyond that. You can see so many heavyweight games that are now possible to run using WinLater or other emulators. It can run PlayStation, Xbox, and PC games via Moonlight as well as games from the Google Play Store, all from this outstanding emulator. What's more, GameHub even provides some demo games to help you understand the emulator's features, which is especially helpful if you're a new user. This thoughtful addition makes it so much easier to get started and explore everything GameHub has to offer. Let's download a demo game and see what happens next. I selected Port and Dungeon from the GameHub library. After downloading, I clicked the play button. Oops, it seems the game is asking for some essential files to be downloaded first. Don't worry, just follow the on-screen instructions, and GameHub will take care of everything for you. If you want to import any PC games, click on the emoji button next to the games. Then, select PC games from the menu. Simply switch to the import option. Then, navigate to the folder where you've stored your games. The process is straightforward. Before playing any games, make sure to configure the game settings. You'll find a range of useful features and customizable options to enhance your gameplay experience, making it smoother and lag-free. This is just an introductory video. In the next one, I'll reveal the best settings for all smartphones, including low-end devices. Before ending, here's an important message. Recently, GameHub has been caught in a wave of toxic allegations, with some users claiming it's spying for China. But let me be clear, those claims are completely false. Remember what happened to WinLater? It wasn't bugs or lawsuits that brought it down, it was the toxic pressure from the community. Now GameHub is facing the same storm. If we continue attacking without facts, we risk losing another great emulator. It's our responsibility to support and protect the tools that push mobile gaming forward. That's it for now. Take care and stay smart.